In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform the hop test to screen for stress fractures of the tibia. Check out our online courses now. The link is in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Medial tibial pain is a very common symptom in the athletic and military population. The presence of pain in this area usually means one of two things, medial tibial stress syndrome or a medial tibial stress fracture. The latter being by far of most concern to healthcare providers as absolute rest might be indicated to prevent the stress fracture from evolving into a frank fracture of one cortex. While stress fractures and MTSS have commonalities, there are a couple of history items that can be used to distinguish them from each other. Furthermore, orthopedic tests can be used to help with the diagnosis. One such test is the one-legged hop test. According to a study by Milgram et al. in the year 2021, the hop test had a sensitivity of 100% and a specificity of 45%. So the hop test is highly effective as a screening test to rule out tibial stress fractures. As the study by Milgram is the only paper evaluating this test so far, we give it a moderate clinical value as a screening test for now. To perform the hop test, have the patient stand barefoot on the affected leg. If both TBS are affected, start with the less symptomatic side first. Now ask your patient to hop in place as high as possible. Afterward, the test is conducted on the uninvolved leg. This test is positive if the patient reports pain on the symptomatic side and not on the asymptomatic side. All right, this was our video on the one leg hop test. If you would like to learn more about stress fractures, check out our video right next to me. For more content from us, head to physiotutors.com and I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.